welcome back guys. Um, this one's a bit of a supplementary before we end up doing the detailing. Um, I'm just going to add in some lights. I'm going to show you how to create a very quick and ineffective three point rig, um, but it's better than the default lighting you get with Cinema 4D. Um, let's have a look what we've got here. We'll make some. Um, we'll use a spotlight. We're going to use three of these, so we'll just copy and paste that. Um, our first light we'll make is the key light. Um, this is going to be basically the one that shines on the front and illuminates everything. Um, I'm going to use a very light sort of cooling colour for it. Um, I don't like using whites. And we'll turn on some soft shadows, um, no visible light or anything. Um, easiest way to position your light. Um, when you've got your light selected, if you go to your camera and link active object, that's actually what the light is seeing right now. So we'll zoom out a bit, seeing that's actually inside the model. And we'll just move them around until we find somewhere we like. Um, sort of fiddly navigating around. Um, I'll light them up from over here. Um, just like that. Um, Go to our next light, this will be our um, fill light. I will just light it from the side and sort of fill in the shadows a bit. Um, choose a sort of warmish colour for this. Um, you don't want to go very strong, intensive colours. Um, I'll just grab a pink and zoom that right up to there. Um, uh, uh, we'll turn on some soft shadows and we'll turn the intensity of this down to about um, 30%. Again, link ab active objects and zoom that right out. And we're wanting to go the other way. Um, so I move it around and rotate around a bit. You can see there's our other light off there in the distance. Um, we'll just try and backfill the shadows. Um, I think I'll try and imagine where that other light's coming from. Um, it's easier to come in down this way, which can use us to sort of fill in the shadows a bit going that way. Um, and that should be fine about there. And the last light is going to be our backlight. So just illuminate it all um, from behind. We use the same sort of cool colour that we used for the first light. Again, 100% um, no shadows for this one. So we want to camera link active object. And if you're setting up with the scene with a camera, you want this. Um, basically facing the camera and behind your focal point. Um, we're not going to be using a camera uh, anytime soon. Um, so we're just going to move them around just behind our model a bit. Um, if you were going to do a camera you'd want it sort of looking up that way I suppose, or that way depending on what we're doing, so just light them up from behind. Um, to get out of viewing through these objects, um, get your camera and just go to the editor camera, which is set there. Now if we give this a quick render, you can see we've got some shadows on the ground and so forth, and got some light and some shadowing on him, and it's looking cool. Yeah, so next up we'll be doing um, the detailing. I suppose I'll start on the body and maybe work to the dome and then down to the 
arms and things just depends what I feel like doing at the time really um, so this was just a quick little tutorial um, yeah that's it um, probably be a day or so before I crack into the next part and get doing some fun stuff